सो गाइज नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द पैनक्रियाटिक सिक्रीशन द पैनक्रियाटिक सिक्रीशन दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एम एल पर डे दिस इज एन अप्रॉक्स वैल्यू इन ह्यूमन्स द पैनक्रियाटिक जूस नाउ पैनक्रियाटिक जूस कंटेनिंग सो मैनी एनजाइम्स and its secretion is controlled by a reflex mechanism and by two hormones known as secretin and cholecystokinin so this pancreatic secretion is regulated by secretin cholecystokinin and some reflex mechanisms coming from the gid and this pancreatic secretion is a uh, actually a pancreatic juice having much activated enzymes but these enzymes are never secreted in active form they are never secreted in active form otherwise it will they will uh, digest the pancreas itself and will lead to acute pancreatitis these enzymes are always released as zymogens that are activated after they are entered into the duodenum now the portion of the pancreas that secretes these enzymes is actually the exocrine portion as you all know we have uh, an other pancreatic uh, endocrine portion itself uh, that is having islets of langrenz we will not discuss that right here the glands in this exocrine portion are actually the compound assigner glands they are compound assigner glands uh, no they are compound alveolar glands sorry they are compound alveolar glands that resemble somehow to the salivary glands now in these glands we have cells for example this is a gland in this gland we will be having these cells these cells are having granules in these granules we have this zymogens and uh, that is why we call these granules as zymogen granules now these granules by the help of exocytosis enter the lumen of the pancreatic duct for example this is the pancreatic duct this will enter these zymogen granules in the cells of the glands of exocrine portion of pancreas will enter this lumen of the pancreatic duct by the mechanism of exocytosis now this pancreatic duct will further uh another name of this pancreatic duct is duct of virson this duct of virson will leave the pancreas and join the upcoming bile duct it will join the bile duct to form this ampulla of the bile duct this is the ampulla of the bile duct also known as ampulla of bitter this ampulla will open into the duodenum this ampulla will open into the duodenum via the duodenal papilla this is known as duodenal papilla and this duodenal papilla on its surrounding have a sphincter of odi this sphincter actually controls the release of this pancreatic juice into the duodenum plus some individuals have this accessory pancreatic duct that is proximal to the main pancreatic duct entering 
in the same duodenal papilla is region of audi now we will discuss the composition of the pancreatic juice pancreatic juice is mainly alkaline this pancreatic juice is mainly alkaline having high bicarbonate content bile intestinal juices plus this pancreatic juice these three are either neutral or alkaline so the chyme that is entering from the stomach into the duodenum acted upon by these changes its ph towards alkaline so the ph of the duodenal contents is finally 6 to 7 whereas in the stomach the ph was 3 to 4 and when this chyme reaches the jejunum this is the duodenal ph when this chyme reaches the jejunum it is nearly neutral the ph is nearly neutral now what is contained in the pancreatic juice the enzymes as we discussed further but in inactive forms they can only be activated when they reach the intestinal lumen from the pancreas they are coming but all the way they are zymogens they are inactive enzymes but when they reach the intestinal lumen they are acted activated they are activated by the proteolytic cleavage of trypsin trypsin is itself a zymo uh, uh, released as a zymogen in the form of trypsinogen but when it uh, reaches the lumen it is contained in the pancreatic juice but when it reaches the lumen trypsinogen is converted into trypsin and that further activates all the zymogens that are in the pancreatic juice and that is a chain of reactions and because these zymogens cannot be activated all this way through we also uh, release in an inhibitor of these zymogens in the pancreatic juice so this will be an inhibitor for the pancreatic zymogens we do not want them to be activated while in the pancreas other otherwise they will cause acute pancreatitis now the regulation of the secretion of pancreatic juice now how can we control the secretion of pancreatic juice this here this control is under three hormones secretin cholecystokinin and acetylcholine secretin now what is the function of this secretin it will cause the secretion of an alkaline pancreatic juice that is too much alkaline the pancreatic juice that is too much alkaline but is 
not having so much enzymes it is high in alkaline content that is high in bicarbonate content but low in enzyme content and for this it has to effect on the duct cells these duct cells these duct cells and the effect of secretin is through increasing the intracellular CAMP this secretin also stimulates bile secretion as well cholecystokinin effects on the this cholecystokinin this will effect not on the duct cells the secretin was acting on the duct cells but this will act on the assigner cells so that it can release uh, the assigner cells can release more and more zymogen granules and the pancreatic uh, juice we uh, obtain is rich in enzymes but low in volume because more and more bicarbonates are being absorbed through the pancreatic duct along with the water so now the volume will be less but the zymogens will be more in case of cholecystokinin that is acting on the assigner cells and uh, this is acting on the assigner cells via phospholipase C via phospholipase C and this increased CAMP was in duct cells now the acetylcholine what is the function of this acetylcholine the acetylcholine also acts on the assigner cells acetylcholine also acts on the assigner cells via phospholipase C and it also causes the release of increased zymogens and a small amount of pancreatic juice but this acetylcholine is coming from vagal stimulation so from vagal stimulation acetylcholine is acting on the assigner cells to causing the release of a low volume high uh, enzyme containing pancreatic juice via phospholipase c